Today, I will be introducing a new ant colony. What's special about this colony? Well, they can have unlimited queens. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ant Holifer YouTube channel. Today we are talking about my brand new colony of Tetramarium by Karen Atom. And I want to say a thank you to Ant Antics for hooking me up with these amazing girls. And this week the member light is blue chosen by Casper. Let's look at them. This colony actually came with a few other ant colonies. And if you want to see the full unboxing, there'll be a link in the description. A closer look shows the crazy amount of brood. There's almost double the amount of brood compared to workers. And I can happily say the brood is in all stages. From a small egg to a big larvae and to pupae as well. And not only that, there's also lots of newly enclosed workers wandering all over the nest. And that is just the best thing to see in an ant colony. But what did I mean when I said unlimited queens in the beginning? Well, this is an inbreeding ant colony, meaning they can produce queens and breathe with them inside the colony. Meaning, well, technically you can get unlimited amount of queens. Looking around the colony, there are already around 4 to 5 queens as far as I've seen. As they are not that much bigger than regular workers, it's a lot harder to see the difference between a worker and a queen, at least with the naked eye. Within the brood, it seems most of the brood is worker based and not so much queen based. But I mean, as there are a few queens, I'm not too bothered because they have a few queens and that's what's important. There are also a few winged ants within the colony. I can't tell if they're all queens or if there's males as well. However, I did spot one queen who had dropped one wing and she was in the middle of laying an egg. So as I prepared to record this, I actually thought I spooked her and that's why she didn't lay the egg. But as you can see, she did actually lay the egg and workers quickly came to nourish the egg. And I tried following her to see if she wanted to lay an egg again. And she actually started the egg laying production once more. But then she fell from the top of the test tube and I decided I'd just leave her alone. But saying that, it definitely seems like reproduction is in full drive. When I initially got them, I got very scared because they had a big die off, probably due to shipping stress. But the colony have bounced straight back. The colony is now housed within this Wakushi Extra Large Saturn. It's a 7 test tube nest with an inbuilt outworld. The reason I chose this nest is simply because it allows for easy expansion. Once the first test tube is filled up, I can simply take the next one in use. It also allows for easy feeding as it's one big unit. With this setup, I don't need to think of adding a new nest for quite some time, although with the current brood level, they can quickly explode. Within this Saturn nest where they live, they have decided to pull a lot of cotton and put it around the nest entrance. I got a few messages saying, aren't you afraid they think all the other tubes are too much space for them? But it seems the ants don't think the other tubes as nest, as they have just closed them in within this one tube. But I can't lie. I got my inspiration to get this colony from another ant YouTuber called Antimatters. He has a gigantic colony and he's really made some very cool setups. Rather this will be my future setup, only time will tell, but it just shows a little bit of the insanity these Tetramarium by Karinatum can create. And if you want to check out Antimatters, there will be a link in the description and be sure to say that I sent you there if you drop him a follow. With the colony, I'm currently trying to make them grow very fast by heating the colony extra much. What do I mean with this? Well, my ant room is currently around 22 to 25 degrees and I've added a heat cable under the floor of the Saturn, meaning it's boosted even more. And well, looking at the colony, it definitely seems to be working. In the outworld, I have a small feeding dish. I've recently started feeding a lot of my colony's sugar this way just because it's safer for the ants and it's easy to replace or refill the cotton. 
the sugar I'm currently feeding them is sugar snaps from Ant Antics. And saying that, let's just give it a refill and see what the colony says to it. Let me just stop the video for a second. Are you enjoying this video? A like and subscribe would go a mile for me. And if you want to see any future updates on these girls, be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss it. Going back to the colony, it's a very fast response and the workers quickly come out. But it's not the greatest success. I think the simple reason is I feed them a lot of sugar and protein to maximize their growth. They are currently getting the booster treatment with lots of protein and heat. And yeah, saying that, let's just give the ants some protein and see if that can spark a little interest within the colony. And oh boy, although I just removed their old food 24 hours ago, these girls are straight at it once more. The species Tetramorium bicarinatum fascinates me a lot as their food response is quite unlike other ants. Although the colony isn't that big, they go all in in getting all the food that they can. Looking around inside the nest, I've really been impressed by the colony. It's crazy for me to think how much brood there is compared to workers. And I can't lie, I am really excited for this colony. I don't know if it's because it is this nest that really makes for easy viewing of the ants, but I just find it very interesting following their growth every day. Seeing the amount of newborn ants compared to the regular ants and just compared to the brood is just very nice for me and I'm really hyped to see how this colony will do in the future. And saying that, that has been a short introduction to my Tetramorium by Carinatum colony. I do expect them to have a massive population explosion soon and when that happens I'll be sure to do an update once again. Once more, this colony is housed within the Wakushi Large Saturn. If you want 10% uh, and hold for all caps, <clears throat> and of course this colony is from Ant Antics, there'll be links to both the stores in the description down below. And with that being said, let's just get all the members up and they are on the wrong side. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Oh, the members are on the wrong side. Maybe it's so I can look at the computer without it looking so weird. Maybe. But a big thank you to all of the members and a special thank you to the seven Holofer family members. We have newly upgraded and Antex just hitting the Holofer family level together with Medical Kake, Simon, Casper, Kai, Antscapes and Ants Norway. I hope you can bear with me as I said those names quite fast. But I want to ask you, do you have any tips for Tetramorium by Karinatum? Is it a colony that you are keeping? Would you like to keep them? Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe, become a member today if you like, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!